Let's talk about that poll and more with Matthew Brodsky. Matthew is a senior fellow at the Security Studies Group. Matthew, good to have you back with us. Matthew Lee could back in the lead according to the latest Channel 13 poll. Why do you think that blue and white may be slipping? Well, I think the fact is Netanyahu remain, remains extremely popular. There's been uh, the issue of leaking uh, from the I Iran apparently hacking phones, and you know, that has been a story. But I think the most important fact is people really get focused when you're down within two weeks of an election. And as always in Israel, uh, security happens to take a very uh, a top spot. And of course, the trips that Netanyahu is taking, bolstering the fact that he is uh, certainly someone who is well-respected with uh, international leaders is definitely something that will help him and remind the Israeli voter that he's really been a steady hand at the helm. Matthew, if blue and white does in fact win, how would Gantz go about forming a coalition? Well, see, that's always been the trick, is that right. it, just like we've seen happen before with Likud, it's, it, we've, seen, uh, we've seen Netanyahu come in second, but then actually end up being uh, having a clear path to form a government. So it, it doesn't, it, you know, when you have the Blue and White Party already ruling out any kind of coalition with Likud, uh, you know, who knows what they're, what they're going to do. Obviously, from Netanyahu's perspective, he would like to play up the fact that it would end up being a much further to the left uh, coalition. But it really seems uh, that it's a, it's a fight between the right to see who, who on the political right is going to be able to form a government. And uh, the political left, of course, uh, remains where it is. But, of course, Michelle, we should also say that these are polls. They're before elections. Right. And we've seen how drastically wrong they've been before. Absolutely. So yeah. we should always keep that in mind as well. Absolutely. I've uh, certainly learned to take all polls with a very big uh, pinch of salt. But from a policy perspective, Matt, many people regard Benny Gantz as, as BB Light. I mean, there aren't any significant policy differences between the two, or are there? Right. Well, I mean, see, and that's just it. If you want to blame Netanyahu for specific military actions he's taken previously, well, then Benny Gantz was uh, certainly at the helm for many of those. So it's a lighter version, except for the political savvy uh, rests already in Netanyahu. He has a proven track record, a very close relationship with Trump. And I think it's very important that he's going to see Putin because mm -hmm. Russia's role has certainly increased. And this is something Netanyahu uh, has been able to manage. And it's been quite a difficult uh, balancing act between Russia and the United States uh, when it comes to dealing with Iran. Yeah, Matt, and Netanyahu's uh, main selling point, arguably, is that he is the best person to represent Israel on the international stage. I want to focus a little bit more on uh, the security situation, Matt. Do you anticipate a dramatically different approach with regards to handling Gaza and Hamas from Benny Gantz? I don't know. Look, you th you, on one hand, whenever there's a new Israeli prime minister, they get tested by uh, anyone who's aligned against Israel. That comes from Iran, from Lebanon, from the Palestinians and the territories. So we'll see what it is that they try. But the, but the fact is, constantly when there's a when there's a flare up in Gaza, it gets to the point where a lot of people say that there should be a much stronger response. Yeah. And Netanyahu is constantly pulled back. And I don't, unless Benny Gantz has a plan to overtake Gaza, hold on to it and rule it uh, for a long period of time, it's hard to see what the other solution uh, is that he would pull out of his hat that Netanyahu hasn't. It's a complicated situation, that's for sure. Matt Brodsky from the Security Studies Group, thank you so much. Let's get more on the situation.